Lars and James are geniuses. But they're still assholes. Last time we started with 8 songs, and today we're picking up where we left. No further ado, let's get to it right now. Here are 8 times Metallica confused us with their songs, part 2. The last song I talked about was Eye of the Beholder, and today we're skipping one song and continuing with the shortest straw. The first time you listen to it and hear the Tom's intro, you think that it starts the bar like this. One, two, three, four. Three, four. But then it gets confusing. Here's the correct way. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. That's because the first time the Lars hits the toms is not the one that starts the bar. The second one is. And hey, don't feel bad if you can't get it right. He can't either. Next up is the Freight Ants of Sanity, and this one is mind boggling. It's the part right before the solo and after the drum fill, which also Lars struggles at. When he plays the fill, you count to six, and then the guitars join in and make you think it's the beginning of a new bar when it's not. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> You have to count to 8 for this one, so that it makes sense when the solo starts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven. Done with the Justice album, so far Injustice For All has the most number of confusing songs with 5. Moving on to the Black album which only has 1, and it makes sense, because you don't do that and hit number 1. It's just impossible for the casual listener to deal with such mind -ing. Anyway, the song is holier than thou and it's at the very start. You probably think it goes like this. One, two, three, four. But again, when they go to the next riff, you get confused. That's actually because there is no kick on the first beat. The bar is like this. One, two, three, four. And I want to say that it's completely natural for anyone, not just a casual listener, to find this weird because we are used to hearing the kick start the bar. We've been hearing that for more than a f***ing century. Moving on to the next record, it's the year 1996. We have put on our fur coats, an eyeliner, and cut our hair. Load, motherfucker. The opening track, Aim My Bitch, also the very first second. Again, Lars is doing the same thing here. But I love how he does it on the opening song. I mean, just when it couldn't get any more perplexing. You think the bar starts with the snare. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. It's on the fourth beat of a previous bar, a bar that doesn't even exist, like the four counts. I think it's amazing that this time, although there is a kickstart in the bar, it's still, unlike on Holier, it's still not enough to prevent us from getting tricked. Next up is Ronnie, one of my personal favorites, very underrated. The guitar starts the song and you hear it correctly. One, two, three, four. Then Lars comes in and ruins it again with his cursed bass drum. And now you're following it, you just can't help but follow it. Then the rest of the band joins in and you're screwed. Somehow we just gotta manage to just keep up with James, ignore Lars, that's the only way. The last one we're gonna take from Load is The Thorn Within, and this one is just too much. Once again, Lars doing his thing with the kick, just the kick, that's all it takes. There's a pre-count with a uh, pedal hat, and if you follow, you're in the safe zone. But you know what happens next. Our brains force us to follow the kick. This is what mainstream music has done to us, we have become programmed to this Lars would have saved us a lot of suffering if he had just put the kick on the first beat. But he had to put it on the second and give you a f***ing brain tumor. You need brain surgery after this album. This one is just too difficult, but if you can do it, good for you. Luckily, we are done with load. Unfortunately, we are now moving to a different type of atrocity. Yeah. And if you're asking yourself, no, no songs from your load, they didn't do it. The first song we're taking from St. Anger is the title track, and James is now doing his thing. Okay, I just remembered something, I'm not gonna tune down for this. Sorry. 
The main riff goes like this. One, two, three, four. But the first time I heard it, I thought... One, two, three, four. Until the drums came in. And funny how the roles are swapped now. James doing the tricking and Lars correcting us. And the last one we're gonna talk about today is Invisible Kid. Another personal favorite, another highly underrated piece. On this one, both men are teaming up on us. By the way, I'm not so sure how to play this riff. I'm just gonna play it the way I imagine it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's all for part two. Part three coming very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and turn the notifications on to know when part three and all my other videos are uploaded. Thanks again. Have fun. See you later.